how do you create original stories how do you write original ideas how do you make original productions well um you must have heard this several times over in your creative life that uh, all stories are essentially a repeat you do not do anything which is considered to be original everything has happened before well yeah this is essentially true everything is a repeat we are either learning or unlearning things okay but if the context how you tell the story and the voice you know in the story is different then it gives you a perception of an original story original content original production original experience you pick up anything you know whether it is a piece of art whether it is a narrative fiction story that you read you watch a film or a short film or a music video or you experience any theater production everything essentially has been told before and you are essentially just soaking in the same narrative but in a different or maybe if i may say in a unique experience all right so what makes this unique let's learn few aspects uh, about storytelling and what makes it unique what makes it original welcome to unravel filmmaking with pankaj upadhyay i'm a sydney based independent filmmaker and i'm here to help you in your cinematic journey over the years i've created several music videos and several short films based off original ideas many of these stories have been written either by me or by my wife and also several music videos that i have made are also cover songs but told differently than how you may have seen the original work how do i go about this process well if you read uh, through very accomplished uh, story writers and their process they will talk about context content continuity etc you know the the magical seas to create your production help you facilitate your production experience your creation experience well over 6 years now i have been making music videos and short films and uh, all my short films are original ideas original stories how do i go about writing these short films so over the period of time we have devised a process called smile smile is essentially see miracles in life every day what makes a story unique what makes it stand out what makes it compelling enough to be watched what makes it uh, connect with you i think it is the magic magic uh, in simplicity magic in day to day life that you know keeps us motivated keeps us hooked to what we want out of our lives um any experience that we soak in we want to experience that magic you know believe it or not whether you're going on a vacation whether uh, you you're living your daily life whether you're living your migrant life or whether you are visiting your home country and uh, experiencing the local culture in in a different way after living overseas what are you trying to essentially do is you're essentially soaking in the magic that is unfolding around you which is called life so when i go about my storytelling i try to look at these little subtle magic you know which is abundantly available around us surrounding us and making our life possible now going back to my journey when it started uh, when we made our first short film smile see miracles in life every day um prior to that i was making a lot of home videos i was making a lot of uh, music videos but primarily my holiday vlogs um my home family videos and i was learning the craft of editing essentially and also shooting at that point in time i was writing poetry but i was not writing any original story i did have a few story ideas but i was all i later discovered were can be called as log lines or synopses or summary notes i was not expanding them enough but essentially what i was practicing all this while was uh, uh you know the the art of writing original stories and essentially we are all surrounded by these unique experiences around us 
anything that inspires you you know whether it is a uh, pick of a pen to write a story or whether you're traveling by some place and you see something some sights and sound that inspire you make a note of those things and that essentially will become your you know your foundation eventually when you want to expand your story and make it a big one like a novel or a or a screen production or a theater production so okay so now joining back connecting the dots i spoke about smile smile essentially the short film happened because uh, my daughter was due to participate in a poetry slam competition she was about to turn eight and she was struggling with that experience of uh, you know going out in a public space making a presentation to her other classmates to a class teacher in front of this whole school so that experience was very daunting to her and i was seeing her struggle you know with that experience and i remember my wife uh, uh, you know telling her that uh, this this experience will make her unique and this will also be probably her foundation when she eventually becomes very comfortable speaking in public so i was seeing this uh, you know the series of events unfolding in in front of my eyes and uh, and that essentially germinated the idea of the two minute short film smile um yeah there were several arguments while uh, while she was undergoing that experience and uh, and from that from those arguments there were these little uh, moments too which were very precious to us as a family and i thought uh, I can either document it in a vlog format which I used to do previously or I can make a short film in a narrative form which will also connect with the others who watch it you know like minded parents or, or fathers of daughters or or parents of children and uh, and this is how smile happened and that smile uh, also started my filmmaking career and journey in Australia So okay so coming back to the original uh, uh, theory that we practice is see miracles in life every day anything that inspires you make a note of that inspiration and that inspiration can be further developed into a story idea which is familiar and yet different because of your own inner voice that makes it unique there are a few other things too that you can do uh, remember i spoke about uh, content context and comfort so context is very important when you tell the story in what context are you telling that will determine your point of view the content is again very important as they say content is king why do you want to tell the story what are you trying to achieve with the story and comfort now this word comfort is very important in an independent filmmaking setup unless you're comfortable with what you have you cannot create what you want now comfort could be you know availability of actors volunteers technicians to work with you comfort could also be you know the other logistical arrangements that you need to pull together to create this production whether it is a stage production or whether it is a screen production comfort could also be how comfortable you are with the technology which is available to you or how f- how familiar how comfortable you are in making that possible within the available resources with its limitations and also how do you take your output you know to the audience to the wider public to make them watch your stuff and what is it for the audience to take away from your production are you trying to inspire them are you trying to motivate them or are you wanting to make them depressed with the sad reality of your life you must remember the end outcome what are you trying to achieve so essentially every story is unique every story is a repeat the context the content the continuity the comfort and the voice that will make it original hello hello i hope you enjoyed this video this is pankaj thirmilenge thank you